we want level playing field, we want market access for European companies, and we want reciprocity in our trade and investment relations. So our message would be before the uh, EU-China summit in Brussels that, uh, dear Chinese partners, the time to act is now. We have heard very uh, uh, nice commitments, but uh, now we would uh, like that uh, our Chinese partners live up to their commitments. That was the EPP Group's Julio Winkler, Vice Chairperson of the European Parliament's International Trade Committee. The EU and China are major trading partners for each other, with EU-China trade estimated at over 1 billion euro per day. Christopher Fjellner, also a member of the same committee, set out some other key EPP Group messages ahead of the EU-China summit on the 9th of April. There's a lot of threats to global trade right now and we want to work together with China to keep global trade open. We also have to have a more harsh message to China to make them aware of the fact that their current practices are totally unacceptable. They have to be an open market for European investments and for European companies, which they're not today. They can't actually use mix up trade policy with security policy and try to act in Europe in an aggressive way that threatens the European way of living. I have met a lot of CEOs that actually don't want to invest in China because of the risk that the Chinese government will steal technology. And that's of course unacceptable and that has to be a message that the European Union puts forward in the EU-China summit. Thank you.